To create a survey with advanced controls for your team, you'll have to do so in the Poly Web App. The quickest way to get to the Poly Web App is to use the command slash poly survey. This will give me a link that will redirect me to the Web App to create a survey. For today's example, we're going to create a recurring survey with some different question types. Since it is a survey, I'm going to choose a type to be a survey and not a poll. For surveys, I'll need to enter a survey title as well as a message to the team to provide some context. Then I'm going to select the event planning audience and change the survey type to recurring instead of one time. I'm going to deliver the survey all at once, change the frequency from weekly to monthly since these customer summons happen monthly, and the schedule to send at the same time tomorrow. For reminders, I'm going to set two reminders at one day intervals. What that means is, at a maximum of two reminders, Polly will send an automated reminder to the folks on your team that has not yet started or completed the survey every day. Reminders will follow the same format that the poll or survey was delivered. If it was public in channel, so will the reminder. If it was sent via DM, which it always is for surveys, the person will get a DM reminder from Polly to complete the survey. For the first question type, I'm going to ask an agree or disagree question. I felt that I accomplished the responsibilities that were given to me in order for the customer summit event to be successful. For this question, I'm going to enable comments for the users that responded with strongly disagree or disagree so they can elaborate further if they wish. My next question will be 1 to 5. On a scale from 1 to 5, I thought that the customer summit in New York City was a success. Just like the first question, I'm going to enable comments for further elaboration. My next question will be an open-ended question. What were the areas of opportunity for the summit that you think could have gone better? My last question will be 1 to 10. How confident do you feel that the next customer summit in San Francisco will have more success? Because this is going out to the team that is directly involved in all stages of the planning and execution of the summit, I value their feedback, so I'm going to go back and make all responses required for each question. Now, moving on to advanced settings, I'm going to deselect the option to enable audience to view results, especially because I don't want results to sway how one user responds if they've already seen how another user responds. I will also send this survey via direct message, that way my audience gets a notification from Polly and it doesn't get lost in the event planning channel. Lastly, since the questions asked in the survey are fairly sensitive, I'm going to make the audience responses anonymous. And then I just hit create survey and now we're all done here.